hey guys we have a small challenge on our hands this particular generator um does not carry load as needed as a matter of fact, uh, the revolution for per minute the speed of the generator is quite low so let me put it on so you have an idea what i'm talking about all right what happened here is if you put the generator on except you touch the governor which is connected to the carburetor of course except you touch the governor the generator you cannot fire the generator okay so even if you try to tighten through this um spring here there's a spring here if you try to tighten through this spring here the generator still remains at a very low low speed so we'll be looking at what exactly is wrong with the gen however we have a strong idea of what should be wrong with the generator being that we are experts in our field we get so we have a strong idea what will be wrong with the generator but for the benefit of a doubt i'm going to lose the tank so i show you guys let's go Alright, having lost the generator, this is what we have. Remember, there was a video I showed you guys some time ago how to increase the speed of your generator. Okay, this is where you actually increase the speed of your generator. There, this bolt here, this uh, screw here, rather. This is where you increase the speed of your generator. But for this particular generator, if if we put it on, if we put it on, we cannot increase the speed. Even though we tighten this to the very end, for some reason, the generator still do not. Um, the speed of the generator still could not be increased. So you get. So what we look at now, look carefully at this particular point. This is what we call the um, governor spring. Okay, this is what we call the governor spring. The governor spring is connected to this, which eventually is connected to the governor inside the generator. On a norm, this is supposed to, it's not supposed to be this slack. This is quite slack and it's not supposed to be this slack. So what we do now is to change the governor spring. Okay, because we already knew what could be wrong with the generator, being that we've done this for many years, we actually got a spring along with us. So let's go okay this is the brand new governor spring if you look carefully this one is still very much fitted it's still very much fitted it compresses and it's elastic you pull it expand and retract unlike this old one here that doesn't fit the bill at the moment all right Let's take out the screw. Okay. Like I said earlier, there's a huge difference between both springs. Where yeah, this expand and retracts this no longer have that ability so and for that reason that's why we could not increase the speed of the generator via this screw so i'll quickly fix it and let's see if what we've done will bring the generator back to life We 
with this alone you can notice the governor itself retracts easily it moves easily all right Okay, that is it. There is a very, very huge variation in the sound of the generator. Why, for the previous spring, the generator didn't come out as good as it is now. But with this brand new carburetor spring, um, governor spring, I mean to say, the generator is up to speed and this can power our home appliances uh, very well. Alright, if you are new to this channel, please do well to to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so when other videos are posted you are among the first to see them if you want to have direct access to us you can join our membership community by clicking the join button there just below the screen below this video it's just less than a dollar with less than a dollar you can ask as many questions as you want and get other relevant texts as rightly stated there okay that is it from us from this channel this week till we meet in our next class it's goodbye take care